And not be buddy. My buddies are here. Hello, boys and girls. Hello, boys and girls. So, what did we learn about the story about Highland of the Cyborgs? Well, we learned about that. Nick Fury has sent Captain America to the island on a secret mission. So, what was important about this mission? Well, we learned about how Monox was planning to take over the entire world. Yeah, with cyborgs. And who were the cyborgs? Monkeys! They were in their suits, and they had captured Captain America. Yes, he went all by himself on the island of cyborgs. And they all captured him, and he's stuck in a cell. So what did Captain America do? Well, he was trying to, he tricked the monkey into playing with his shield, hitting the metal. Wait a minute, sorry, the cubs in the middle. And they were making, making noise. And the monkey got really mad and he didn't like the noise. And then Captain America has escaped and he went kapow, kapow, kapow. On the monkey. Yes. But what was Mud Dog doing? Mud Dog was trying to take over the entire world and then destroying it. Yes, that's true. And why? Because he is evil. He's a super intelligent being. It's super powerful. Now he had a con he had a mind control power over the monkeys, and the monkeys did not know what to do. Yeah. So they were uh, his minions, and they were attacking Captain America. Jump! 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 And what was his other plan? His other plan was to take control of the mind of Captain America. Yeah, but Captain America used his shield, the Vibranium shield, and it burned down the monkey's mechanical suit. And the monkeys were free of the evil powers of Madoc. They were free? Yeah. Because the suit, well, it was being controlled by the power of Madoc's mind. Yes! And Madame was trying to take over Captain America's mind that way. Well, um, could take over the world with Captain America. But what happened next? Well, Captain America has fought off all of the cyborgs and destroyed the all of their suits. And all the monkeys were free. And then he threw the shield like this to my dog, the super villain. Oh, yeah! And then my dog landed in the ocean. Ah! And when Captain Captain America was still destroying all the suits of the monkeys, he looked around and my dog was gone. Yes. So Captain America has saved the day of saving the world. Yeah, all by himself. And, and Nick Fury had told him to go on another important secret mission. Yeah. And Captain America was going again. And that was the end of the story. So what advice would you give to the boys and girls, Leo and Puppy? Well, my advice to get to them, well, to say is, you never give up. On falling down. Sometimes you need to think of a plan in order to get yourself back up on your feet. Yeah, in order to escape the evil villains like Smodog. Yeah. Yes. So, Captain America was thinking of a plan. You see, boys, you always need a plan. If you're falling down and you're like this with your head down, and you think you failed of saving your friends and family, Sometimes you gotta think of a plan in order to save them. Yeah! Just like Captain America did! Well, boys and girls, a hero does comes from the heart because they're the ones that save this world 
from evil intergalactic villains. Yes, because heroes, they, they are dreams. They are future. They are the heart of this world. Heroes make our world a better place and safer. Yes, that is true. And always remember to be yourself. If you want to be a hero, first you gotta have a heart, have a dream, have a future, an education, and also be yourself and have some fun right now. Yes, and also be healthy. <laughs> That's true. What is this? But boys and girls, you gotta be a hero like fly. Da -da -da -da! What are you doing, puppy? I don't know. Get back over here. Ouch! Well, remember, boys and girls, always follow your dreams. Always love them. And always be yourself, okay? Yes. Don't let anyone judge you who you are. You be you. And you follow your dreams. Good night, everybody. <laughs> we love you all. And always dream. A pain is superhero, just like Captain America. Good night. Good night. I'm gonna dream of being a super lion. I'm gonna dream of being a super puppy. Well, boys and girls, all I can say is that heroes, they come from the heart. And I love talking about superheroes because they make us feel safe. And... Heroes, they come from the, they, they, they come from the heart. They come from our dreams. They come from our imaginations. Imaginations makes our heroes. Dreams makes our heroes. The heart makes our heroes. And I'm going to tell you something. It's better to help out a friend who has lost someone or who needs uh, not to support, sorry, who lost someone and who needs support and lots of love and caring, you gotta be there for your friends and also for your family members too. Because sometimes all we really need right now is is love, encouragement, passionate, support, help, and also the heart and dignity. And there's a lot of responsibility, but what I'm trying to say is that heroes, they make the world a better place. They are around us. We just don't see them. Because remember, heroes, they hide their identity. They hide themselves. They don't show their uniform. They don't show their superpowers. Because that's their secret. That is their privacy. That is their... That is them. Sorry, that is their own life. Because every superhero does not want to show what they are and what they have. It's because... They do not want to take away, they don't want to get all the attentions. All they want to be is, they want to be like us. They want to be like just normal people. Just being normal, just having a good time with life. And that's what makes a hero good. Because... They have a heart. And we all have our hearts. And we all need to be ready when stuff are happening or crimes are going out in public. We still all need to be ready and be prepared. You don't know if a hero is going to come out there and save you. And there, there are heroes that have superpowers, but also there are heroes that save people and they don't have powers. Because 
Remember, like I told you, a hero does not come from the mind. What really makes a hero is your is the heart. That's what makes a real hero. It's the heart. I I have lots of friends. I don't know, some of them are heroes. And you have some friends. Maybe there's some are heroes. But is that sometimes we wanna be they wanna be themselves. We wanna be ourselves. We don't have to show the world what we have because that's our secret. That's our livelihood. That's what superheroes do. They hide their secrets. Because they want to be like us. And they want to be like you kids. They want to be normal and happy with their life. And make new friends. New people that they meet and probably make a family a hero is someone that's always going to be there for you is someone that's going to read you a story or play with you or take you out watching movies or even help you with schoolwork and playing with playing with you in sports and games and teaching you a lot of new things like teaching you how to plant or teaching you how to play music. A hero it could be teaching you a lot of new things too, boys and girls. See that's a hero. Because that hero loves you. So if, I, if boys and girls, if you see your mom that works hard, and also your dad who works hard too, and, and you see them coming home, you should give them a big hug. A big tight hug. It probably tickled them. <laughs> because they are also your heroes too. That's what I'm doing with my mom and my dad. I give them a big hug because I love them and they're my superheroes. Superheroes make our world a lot more safer because we know them and they know us. And if you have a superhero, that superhero will always look out for you. Believe me, boys and girls. Because they, that superhero, loves you. And I miss you all, you kids, and I love you all so much. Especially my friends and my family members. I miss you all. So I hope you all enjoy this weekend. Tomorrow might be another story time and <laughs> it'll be a good one alright good night everybody buenas noches masalama goodbye good night